geçici bir iki havadan saldırı değil resmen savaş hali var şu anda. A declaration from Ankara limiting access to the Dardanelles Strait for Russian and Ukrainian warships. Under the 1936 Montreux Convention, Turkey has control over the Dardanelles and Bosphorus Straits connecting the Mediterranean and Black Seas and can limit the passage of warships in the event of war. Ukraine has been asking Turkey to apply this measure since Russia's invasion began. Its implementation comes as further proof that Ankara has chosen its side in the conflict. Though less than a month ago, even as Russian troops were already massed at Ukraine's borders, the Turkish president took a more neutral position on a visit to Kiev, offering to host a summit between the leaders of the two countries. Turkey is prepared to undertake its part in order to end the crisis between two friendly nations that are its neighbours in the Black Sea. On the same day, while signing a free trade treaty, Turkey committed to supplying attack drones to Ukraine. Bayraktar TB2 drones, used by the Ukrainian army against Russian armoured vehicles, as seen in these videos. Recep Tayyip Erdogan, though diplomatically closer to Russia in recent years, went on to firmly condemn its invasion of Ukraine. We find the military operation launched early this morning against Ukraine's territory unacceptable and we reject it. From then on, Turkey has been defending Ukrainian sovereignty, despite abstaining from the Council of Europe vote sanctioning Moscow. In spite of conflicting relations with the West, particularly on the migration issue and the Syrian conflict, Turkey, a NATO member since 1952, is now pushing its allies to show firmness towards Russia. The West, which has given plenty of advice on this issue, continues to do so. I hope that today's NATO summit will take a more determined stance. Demonstrators are turning out almost daily to show support for Ukrainians here in Ankara and Istanbul. Meanwhile, Turkey continues to repatriate its nationals from Ukraine. All while fearing the economic consequences of its position, Turkey is highly dependent on Russian energy resources, which make up 20% of its imports in oil and a third in gas.